So today guys, I have a pretty epic video for you. Do you remember the original teaser trailer from back in the day where we saw that woman, that cyber psycho? This was literally one of the, I think it was the second trailer they dropped for this game. Well, the woman portraying in this actual trailer, you can find her in game. And that's what I'll show you how to do today. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So ages back, I believe seven or so years ago, we got a teaser trailer which you can see on screen now. Now this trailer basically consists of a lady on her knees in the middle of the street. Mantis blades exposed, just killed 14 or so people, surrounded by the Night City Police Department, with a Max Tech officer pulling the trigger of a gun directed at the back of her head. Now this lady has been the center of many conversations for many years now. People asking who she is, what's her name, what's her background, what will be her role within the game when it releases. Plus with her being as hot as heck, she draws a lot of attention, naturally. Well guys, today I will showcase to you a mission in which you can find this lady and actually speak to her in the game. Now I know some people might be wondering and saying to themselves, well I thought she was killed within that teaser trailer, so how can this be? Actually guys, she wasn't killed. If you watch the trailer at the end of it, you will see a lady whose hair has been shaved off, putting on that Max Tag helmet. The clue here is the scratch or scar on her cheek where that bullet brushed her cheek. This is the same lady that was on her knees within the trailer. But within the game, you come across a side mission in which you actually meet and speak to her. The side mission is called Bullets. And how this is triggered is as follows. You first need to complete the Playing With Time Prologue mission. Once you've done that, this is what you have to do. So you need to head to this fashion store, seen on screen now via the location on the map. Once you are here, you need to speak with the rep, Zane. Doesn't matter what you select here, just speak with him. Check out his store or select the other dialogue option, it's up to you. Then once you've done that, you need to leave the store and run a few blocks away. Upon doing this, a side mission marker will pop up on your screen. In fact, you may be able to skip time here as well by 24 in-game hours, and this may work, but I just ran a couple of blocks away. But yes, a side mission marker will then pop up on your screen within this store. So once you go back, have another chat with Zane. What happens next is a cyber psycho comes to the store and tries to cause havoc, and you have to take him out. Guard, get the door! Hold him there! I'm sounding the alarm! Hold on! Fuck V, get down, he's whack! Max Tech! Be here in a moment! Hold him! Hold him till they get here! Talking to me? Now we know Max Tech are a kind of special forces agency who are called upon to take down them cyber cycles when they go and get stuff for the regular NCPD. And that's what we see within this mission. Well I took him down before they had a chance, but they came anyway. And they are led by a lieutenant who at first sight you would notice has those also familiar Mantis blades. But in reality that isn't enough. But this does get deeper. After she has sat you down to speak with you about the incident, you can go on to talk to her further and you would have already probably clocked her name by then of Melissa Rory. But you can go and speak to her and talk about the blades that she has and how they are an old model which in turn can mess with your neural processes and that they were pulled from the market back in 69. Again, her name as you can see is Melissa Rory and she is the lady from the teaser trailer from seven years back. Life leave his body? Hold up a sec. Your Mantis blades. Higurashi 2013s. Weren't those pulled off the market in 69? Recall they don't play well with neural processors. Poking a part of the prefrontal cortex they shouldn't be poked at. Probably would have bought a pair myself weren't for that. Good eye. Had them installed years ago. They're very... precise. Huh. Thought Maxtac preferred our soccer blades as their standard issue. But, well, seeing how you handle these wrist razors... They're my... Reminder, when I see them, I see what they've sliced. Muscle, tendon, bone, even implants. Like a hot knife through butter. But you're with the good guys now, right? 
You always just wipe them? You know, herd therapy can sometimes work. Apprehending the target alive carries additional risk for bystanders. Rarely done. Very rarely. Rarely? More like never. How many psychos you save in your life? Don't change the subject. You felt him die. Did you... like it? That split second when the blood still flows, but his light's gone out? Well, the adrenaline's all right, but... don't think I share your level of enthusiasm. You love the hunt, love the kill. Don't matter if they're psychos or regular Joes. Oh, we're not so different, you and I. Saw that look on your face right after. You can't hide it. Join us. Could use a few more like you. Me, a cop? <laughs> Last time I wanted that was pushing six, maybe. Yeah, I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll think about it. You do that. You certainly got a gift. Now, if we go back to that teaser trailer and read CDPR's description of it, it states... The teaser shows how the Psycho Squad might acquire a new member. The Psycho Squad specialises in combating psychos, individuals who overuse implants and substances that boost or otherwise alter the human body. There comes a point where they overdose on these innovations and their body starts to rebel against their biological body parts as well as all things organic around them. Simply put, they start killing people who they now derisively call meatbags. When a psycho goes on a rampage, strange things can happen. There's carnage and the psycho might be taken down by regular police, but they're not always able to get the job done. When things spin out of control, they call in MaxTAC, Maximum Force Tactical Division, popularly called the Psycho Squad. And this is what we see within the trailer. MaxTAC come in, they take her down, but they actually recruit her to join MaxTAC. And you see this at the end of the trailer. Now more ties to this trailer from this mission. The trailer has a tune rocking in the background which is called Bullets, written by Darius Keeler and Pollard Beria. Funny enough, this side mission within the game is also called Bullets. Now later on after the mission, you will get a text message from the store rep of Zane who offers further information on this Max Tackle lady, where he informs you that Melissa Rory was indeed a cyber psycho and in January she killed 14 people and that Max Tech reconditioned her and forced her to join Max Tech. Now if we go back to the trailer and have a proper look, you will see that this woman indeed does kill 14 people. And also, the video was uploaded in January, many years back. So yeah guys, there we have it. This cyber psycho lady from this trailer is indeed Melissa Rory, as the in-game law suggests, that she was reconditioned by Max Tech, and now this is her place of work in-game. Pretty cool if you ask me. Now, I also do think in game you can find files on this woman from the NCPD database, which I haven't actually checked myself yet. It is a shame though that there aren't any further missions here to go on with her or no romance options either, but I do have a feeling more of this lady will come in the future, possibly through DLCs, but we will see guys. So yes, for those wondering who that woman is from that trailer from years back and what part she will play in the game, although at the moment it's a very, very small part, she is here. But I do indeed feel that the trailer shows a bigger picture than just her. It informs off of cyber psychos, max tech on what they do and what happens when certain cyber psychos are chosen to represent the psycho squad. But yeah guys, just a short video on a little bit of the lore from the background of the cyberpunk world. And I hope you enjoyed it guys. If you did leave an like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.